Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to review the Trackster M2 SSD module. That's an extension to increase the, the storage capacity on your Trackster laptop. So what it says is it can go up to 550 megs read and 450 megs write. So I'm actually going to use a Python script and see if we can reach those numbers and see if it really increase on a day-to-day -day use uh, the speed for read-write on your laptop. So stay tuned, we're going to do the opening, the installing and the testing together. So let's see first what comes in the box. It says the, the module is in there and also it should come with a a screwdriver to install it so yeah it looks like this is what we have in the box you can see the module itself the screwdriver so it looks good so far and we're gonna go through the ins those instructions together so it looks pretty simple uh, first sight you have the uh, opening of the the lid on the back of the computer just taking it out putting the slot back in and then we'll go together through the installation. Um, you have to activate the SSD card in Windows once the card is plugged in. So let's do that together. Okay guys, so before I install the card, uh, what I wanted to show you is how I tested the read and write speed with the default setup on the Trekster. So I have this very large file right here uh, it's a data file on food facts uh, and you can see that the file is almost um, it's just about one gig so I have this very basic Python script uh, and I'm running a comment in Jupyter to measure the time it takes for Python to read that very large one gig file so using the time it command uh, what I do is seven runs and I get the the results and the average based on seven runs and then I did exactly the same on writing the file after modifying it slightly. And here are the results. So um, of course the read and writes um, are in seconds for that file so I standardize it based on the actual file size and at the end what you see is a read of about 33.96 megs per second and the write is 18.17 megs per second. So you can see that those numbers are infinitely lower than what you get uh, when you read the advertisement on the SSD card. So it might be that it's because of this real usage within Python and not a theoretical speed of read and write for the hard disk. But let's see, I'm going to install the card now and after I've installed it and set it all up, I will run exactly the same test again and see if I get better results on the read and the write. So stay tuned, let's see if it gets faster. Okay, so the Trekster is switched off. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go through the actual installation. So I will open that little lid there using the, the screwdriver that was provided and see how it goes. So let's see. All right. So far it is quite easy. I'm going to make sure I don't lose that little screw and then gently take the lead off which okay here we go and now I have the space where I can actually put the card so in these instructions it says that the card is only one way that it could get in um, so you can see here the, the half circle and the screw here so I have to remove that additional screw here that screw would keep the card itself in place 
Now with this screwdriver, I'm having difficulties. I'm gonna try to use mine and see if it works better. No, no luck there. Okay. Now this is a bit harder. Okay, so you have to apply a little bit of pressure here to really get the screw to come out. That screw inside is, is set pretty tight. Then, next thing you know, you need to put the card actually in. So let me go from the other way around. Alright, so now I can see the connectors. And you need to slide that card right inside the connectors, which is not so easy. Right, so now I think I did that right. I hope so. Right, it does fit in place. And the last part is I'm going to screw that second screw first in place right there, which again is not the easiest thing to do. It is definitely not that easy. Um, you can see that it's a bit sticky, so I guess it's uh, like a magnet or something. It's a bit magnetized. So let's see. All right, I got it now. All right. Okay. And finally, I'm going to put the lid back on. This one is easier, there's basically just one way to put it in. One last tightening of that screw, putting the lid back on, putting the last screw back on and let's switch it on and see if it worked. All right, so that was it for the installation. Let's switch the, the laptop back on and see if it shows. Okay guys, so I've installed the SSD card and I've run the same exact Python script and now I've got the results. So, if you compare the previous run to the new run, you can see that there is indeed an improvement with the new run. I'm doing reads, uh, it takes 26.5 seconds and on the right it takes 50 seconds, which means that if you normalize the data and compare, I'm going down on the reads to 36 megs per second and on the right 20 megs per second. So in conclusion, yes, it is faster. With the new SSD card, it is 7.6% faster on the read and it is 14.4% on the write. So some noticeable improvement, but um, more than that, I'm just happy that I have more storage on the Trexto laptop. So for me, it was a good purchase. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I wish you all a good day.